So today we're gonna look at plane detection and it is not my favorite API. This is a mini demo that I made, so you can upload an image and then that image will be put onto the planes that it detects. I was originally going to do some plane filtering and stuff, but I got a little bit apathetic towards it because the plane detection is just not up to scruff. It's not as good as it, I expect it to be. And so I kind of just stopped working on this project after a little bit, but I wanted to kind of go over how to use the plane API because it might actually get better in time. So at, the, at its given state, it's not really Really that useful of an API, I think actually better strategies would be using a hit and then kind of finding a tangential plane to that or using the depth API to kind of cut out a plane on a server like that you can see. So I think those two strategies are probably more effective at this point. But that doesn't mean that not that in the future, because all these APIs are kind of a work in progress right now, that it won't be useful in the future. So we're going to go over it anyways. I also just want to have all of, I want to have gone over all of the APIs in WebXR over time. So this is just going to be getting this one out of the way. <laughs> So some of the things that I've been frustrated with with this particular algorithm is it's slow. It's also not very good at vertical plane detection, which is something that I wanted it to be better at. So that's something that I was looking forward to. And it's not super great. It only gets some types of walls, some types of walls it'll completely ignore. And I think wall detection is almost more important than plane detection, especially because most of the plane detection that it does is flat surfaces, which a lot of times are either like the ground is a very easy thing to guess in AR because usually you can just kind of measure it below where the person is standing. And in my experience, people don't tend to move their phone down so much. So if the accuracy is a little bit off, it's not a big deal. So I don't think that detecting the floor is a very important trait for a plane detection algorithm to have. It is already detecting things like cables and stuff, but it oftentimes adds in multiple planes. And so sometimes you end up with this situation where you'll have five or six different planes for a table and it gets a little bit difficult to like figure out which one would be the most interesting one. There should be some sort of most significant planes. There's a lot of options that it should have. Right now it doesn't have any options. And there's a few things that like, sometimes you wanna be able to get a really rough plane really quickly. So it should have some sort of like rough quick estimate. Uh, sometimes you only want the kind of most significant planes. So I think that would be a really important feature to have. And then there should also be some sort of timeout on planes because if planes, if you're moving things around in the scene and it just saves the planes and doesn't change them afterwards, that can be a really big problem. So there's a bunch of options that this feature should have, uh, or at least the defaults are not like what I would have expected going in this. Also, just the planes that it spits out are the geometries are really awkward. So I would think that it would make more sense to have kind of some sort of like octo tree like thing where you're the most significant part of the plane is just one triangle and then it kind of expands out from there so that the edges become more detailed because right now it's basically just tracing out the outside and then trying to make a plane out of that and so it ends up shifting around a lot and you don't have kind of the core of what the plane is I, I think there's a lot could be done with how it builds out planes because the structure of them is a little bit wanting so in order to access plane detection in the code, you need to have plane detection enabled in optional or required features. This will attach a property to the frame value. So on XR frame, you can hand another function. In this case, we're going to call it processing plane the frame. And then from the frame, you can access detected planes. And that allows you to do a bunch of things with those planes. Uh, in particular, we can check that we if we have already included that plane in our scene. And if we have not, then we can add it to our scene. We can also use some features with the has aspect of the detected planes to remove any planes that have, are no longer part of our scene. In order to update any of our planes that are still around but have a different timestamp on them, we can remove the geometry and add new in, new geometry in. So our create geometry from a polygon is just a function that takes a polygon, goes over each point, pushes that to the vertices and to the UVs, and then we just index that and attach it into our geometry.